All right, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna be looking at a video clip. Uh, this one, it just, I don't know, it's weird. I don't know if it's just me who's noticing this, but over like, I don't know, the last maybe two to three months, there have just been this, I guess, trend of clips coming from GameStop stores where people are like just vandalizing going on these insane freakouts over pretty little I would say, and, and it just, I don't know, I don't know if I'm the only one noticing this little trend, I guess, going on, but first we had, like, I don't know, the Fallout 76 clip, and then, of course, now we have this one. I'm sure there's probably been others that I haven't seen, so I just, I don't know, it's it's weird. Anyway, so uh, the, the clip we're going to be looking at today here is a, a transgender who had a little bit of a freak out here in a GameStop store due to being misgendered, okay? So, uh, before we get into this video, I know I have to clear this up because I, I can already tell it's going to be a problem. I don't care what you decide to do in your personal life, okay? I'm one of those people. You know, as, as long as you're not hurting me, as long as you're not hurting other people, you're not really risking hurting other people, you go ahead and do whatever you want, man. You, you live your life, okay? If you, if you want to dress up like a woman and, and pretend to be a woman or a man or a, you want to be a lizard, I, I don't I don't really care. You know, you, you live your life. I, that's all you. I don't really want to be involved, okay? I, I, I don't really care, you know? But when it comes to you acting like a f***ing idiot in public and possibly destroying property over something that really doesn't matter that much, you know, that, that, I think that's where we should draw the line, really. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, look at this clip, so let's get this started. We're not doing credit. You're gonna give me my f***ing money back. Excuse me, sir, there's a young man in here. And you Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. I can call the police if you'd like me to. You need to settle down. You need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. It was a general. Right beforehand, you f***ing said sir. Sir? All right, so as you can see, okay, not not the happiest, I would say. Okay, so kind of acting like a f***ing idiot, right? Screaming, cussing at people, confronting the other customers in the store. Really just not being a very pleasant person in this GameStop. Now, apparently this GameStop employee, I really out of habit, I would think, just kind of by mistake, called this person a sir, who clearly identifies as a woman. I mean, I I, I don't really see the female characteristics of this person, but I mean, you, you do whatever, right? Looking hella manly, but that, that's all you. So, uh, this GameStop employee uh, calls this person a dude, this woman a a dude, whatever you want to call him, I, I, regardless of what I call the person in this video, it's just gonna go wrong anyway. If I call him a dude, uh, all the all the PC f people start crying, and then when I call him a woman, everyone on the right freaks out and has a mental breakdown. So at, at this point, I'm just gonna call him them. You go ahead and fill that in as you want. So being misgendered caused this person to have this big. F mental breakdown inside of this GameStop, you know, go on this tirade. And I gotta say, I, I don't think it's helping the situation at all. You know, if if it's really that important to you, which honestly, it if, if it gets to the point where it gets under your skin so bad that it gets to this point, you know, I think you need a little bit of help kind of dealing with your sh you know what I'm saying? But if it really matters that much, why not just, you know, act like a normal person and then instead of, you know, doing what continues, I guess, just getting the corporate number to GameStop and reporting the store and most likely getting like $100 on a gift card or something that just, I don't know, seems like the logical decision to me. Why not get something out of it? Because especially when you're acting this way, they're not going to give you anything. And and as you're going to see really as this video continues, uh, it, it turns more or less into a crime. Not only is this guy or girl disturbing the peace, but uh, also possibly vandalizes some GameStop property. Mother take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a f***ing sir. I apologize. Mother all right, so now we're threatening to fight the GameStop employee. That, that sounds like the uh, the very logical decision to make, I would say. You know, when I get upset at people, I also tend to threaten them in, in this kind of way, too. You know, I've dealt with a lot of shitty experiences at plenty of retail stores. I don't think it's ever gotten to the point that I've raised my voice at an employee and threatened to fight them. And, and I just want to I just want to say this for the record. Isn't it ironic uh, well, two things here are quite ironic. Number one, for someone who wants to identify as a woman and wants to be treated as a woman, this dude is very clearly acting like a man and is very clearly trying to be this big hard ass, you know? I, I just, personally, I don't see many women really doing shit like this. Just some food for thought. Anyways, and then the second thing I really want to talk about, he says, let's take it outside, I'll show you a sir. Okay, so, by your own admission, are you admitting you're a dude? 
All right, so now we're kicking property over in a GameStop, which, you know, honestly, it's not like it's like some Xbox Ones or anything sitting out, so it's not like this person's destroying some consoles and shit. But, uh, as you can see, there is definitely some merchandise in that packaging that this, uh, that this transgender just f***ing kicked. So, you know, the, very possible, right, that something could have been damaged. And, you know, that, that just seems like the logical response, man. I, I usually, when I go to GameStop too, I get so worked up that I start kicking and destroying too. I start kicking over a display stand that, uh, an uh, employee who's probably making either minimum wage or barely over minimum wage is now gonna have to pick up because I can't handle my emotions and I can't act like an adult in a store. And then I also just find it hilarious that they have the audacity to be like, I want your corporate number after you've escalated the situation beyond the point in which you can report this to the corporate number and actually get anything really out of it. Because at this point, they're just gonna show the multiple camera angles of you kicking shit over in the store, threatening to fight an employee, and acting like a moron. And they're basically either gonna A, call the police on you and have you arrested for disturbing the peace slash vandalism, or B, they're just gonna go tell you to, you know, shove it, right? I mean, honestly, I think it would be B, if the police weren't called in this instance really right off bat, I don't think they're gonna get the cops involved later, but I mean, at this point, you've gone beyond the whole, I need to speak to the corporate, right? That You've gone past that when you've acted this way. I need your corporate number because I'm gonna talk, call them and talk about how I was misgendered several times in this store. I need your corporate number now. Get it for me now. Give me your corporate numbers. Well, I'm going to ask you for the fifth time to stop calling me a man, because quite clearly I am not. And I apologize. I'm sorry for that, ma'am. I will get you that number. Is that okay? Yes, get it for me now. I'm asking you to stop Get it for me now. I'm not cussing. I'm not cussing. Give me the damn numbers now. Please. Ooh! Ma'am, I apologize. Yeah, that, that's usually how a woman would react, okay, when when something pretty much as minuscule really as being misgendered happens to them, right? I, I, I think, uh, you know, most women would react that way. You know, like I said, at the end of the day, I don't really care what this person identifies as. If you want to be a woman, you know, whatever, dude, okay? It, it just... I, I don't know what you expect, especially when you look like a dude. You know, you're going to have people make the mistake of calling you a dude, or it's not really a mistake until you have your surgery and whatnot. You, I mean, you are a man, but... I mean, if you want to act like a woman, okay? Act like a woman. You know, don't don't start a bunch of shit and act like you're going to do all the... Be a big hard-ass, right? I just... It, it's ironic. This is the most self-contradictory stand of all time, right? Yes. I will get you that number right now. No, you're just gonna keep bumping your gums. You're just gonna keep bumping your gums and disrespecting trans people in this store, which I plan on telling the entire LGBTQ community. You're going to lose money over this. All right, so you saw the end of that clip there, right? So uh, we, we've kind of seen the whole thing. I do want to go ahead and note uh, that uh, we're, we're there she's going to go tell the whole LGBT community about how they were misgendered in this store, right? I don't think that'll be necessary. This clip is kind of going viral, okay? Uh, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the community are going to see this one. It's just crazy to me that you're making this big stand for LGBT people, right? Yet instead of being a good example of the community, you have now pretty much made this, uh, let's see, 1 minute and 36 second long clip of why people now think that transgenders are insert whatever, right? Because that's just how this is gonna go. This clip is already being turned into this whole anti, you know, transgender thing. I've seen it, you know, I've, I've read the comments. They're pretty anti-transgender, you know? I mean, you're not making a very good stand for your community. If, if you're really trying to represent transgenders and stuff, why didn't you do it in a peaceful manner in a way that would have actually gotten you some sort of positive outlook, really, you know? That that you might have gotten a gift card or something to a GameStop, right? I'm sure news articles would have been written if this had just gone over more peacefully, but instead you have now made a total ass of yourself, and for people who now are gonna think that this is pretty much the way that transgenders act, because people do think that way, unfortunately, you know, you've now done more harm really than good. Congratulations, okay? Your, your little tirade here sets a really bad example for the people you're trying to make a stand for, so. You know, I want your guys' opinions on this whole thing, right? Because because I already know there's going to be people from the left who are calling me a, a douchebag, you know, transphobic, you're fucking offensive, bro, all that ignorant shit, right? And then you're going to have people on the right who are going to dehumanize this person, right? Because obviously they're dealing with some shit. I mean, transgenderism isn't something that is, it's not something light to deal with, you know? And I understand that. 
But when it gets to the point that you act like this in public and that you take an issue really that isn't that important to this degree, right? Okay, you're you're just you're really pushing back in a way that isn't helping. Okay, you're making people actually deflect even more away from sympathizing with you or accepting you. Not to mention you also committed a crime. But you know that that you know that's that's I guess uh, here or there. So okay, let me know down in the in the comments below. Okay, what what do you think's right? Okay. A. Deal with the employee's mistake by just, you know, calmly reaffirming them that you identify as a female, you don't want to be called sir, and then if the issue continues, ask for the corporate number, call that number, most likely get some sort of compensation from the store, possibly get the employee reassigned so you don't have to deal with the issue anymore, you know, actually make a positive impact really on this company and for your own shopping experience. Or B, raise your voice and start swearing in a public store, uh, start, you know, going after the other customers who are asking you to watch your language because there's a child around, threatening to attack an employee and fight them in the parking lot, kicking a bunch of displays and shit over because you were misgendered. Let me know what you think is the adult, uh, appropriate response. And thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here. Follow me on Twitter at SubtheOptimist. Join the Discord down below. Thank you to my channel members for your $5 a month. Your support helps my channel tremendously. Please don't take this video as an opportunity to attack transgenders, okay? You may not agree with them, but that doesn't mean that you should, like, actually resent them to the point that you dehumanize them and treat them as if they're less, you know? Just let people do what they want to do with their lives, okay? You're entitled to your opinion, just like I'm entitled to mine. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus, being misgendered, and signing out.